Yes, God. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, this morning we're going to say um, a word of prayer this morning. We kind of got a special prayer this morning. Um, today is election day. So there is um, there are local elections that are going on. So we're going to say a prayer this morning for the local elections, among some other things. But um, I'm going to pull out some scripture. I am not sure what's going on here. I might have to do it from my other phone, y'all. I see that um, those of you that are on the trim, you might want to run over to my own personal page. I see that y'all were blinking out already. Um, I can't explain it. I don't know what the deal is, why that happens like that. But, but I see that's what's going on, so... But this morning, what, what I'm going to do is, is this morning I'm going to be praying as it relates to there is some elections that are going on today and also among some other things is what we're going to be um, we're going to be praying about this morning. I got a few scriptures that I'm going to use uh, in context of things that I that I will be bringing before the Lord this morning. I'm going to come out of, where am I going to hit first? Let's go to 1 Chronicles chapter 29 first. 1 Chronicles chapter 29. If you have a prayer request, still feel free to go ahead and type it in on Facebook. You can type it in on the comments and I'll see it and I'll make sure that I govern myself according to praying in agreement with you concerning it. I do not know why my... um Trump page. Y'all give me just one second. Let me see if I can pull up my... If I can just share this video over to the trail page and, and then maybe, maybe, just maybe listen at all the messages. <clears throat> just maybe I'll be able to then, let me see if I can, um, Let me see if I can get this shared over to the trim page because I have some people that be on the trim. One second, y'all. I apologize. I don't know why the broadcast keep um it keeps going out on the trim page, but I see y'all on my main page are able to still be there. Let me see if I can share it to um to the trim page this morning. But First Chronicles chapter twenty nine is where I'm going to be, and I'm also going to go into Proverbs. No, yeah, First Chronicles twenty nine and Proverbs twenty nine. Let me see if I can catch it this morning. Let me share this right quick, like, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. So, good morning to y'all. Good morning. It's eight twenty five. My mama will be eighty three years old tomorrow. Oh, Al, be 83 years old tomorrow. All right, let's see, share to a page. Let's get this shared here to the trim page so people can see it. Tuesday morning. I usually don't have these kind of problems, but, um, we're just going to work right on through it. Problems don't stop us. Problems push us. So we're just going to just go right on through it. Okay, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like it is, looks like it may be shared now. Okay. So... All right, let's go back here. First Chronicles. All right, let's see where we at. First Chronicles 29. All right, let's get right here right quick, like. And let's get this shared here. All 
right, First Chronicles chapter 29 this morning, and let's look at verse 9. First Chronicles 29 and verse 9 this morning, and it says this here, Then the people rejoiced for that they offered willingly, because with perfect heart they offered willingly to the Lord. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. Now, today is uh, for city, for local cities to um, elect their mayor, uh, city councilmen. All that is going on today. I know it's going on in Op, and it is um, already, you know, it brings about a stirring up of things. But I do believe that if the intercessors, the intercessors would come together and pray regarding some things that we will see some things happen again. Let me show you something here. And in first Chronicles chapter 29 and verse nine, it says, then the people rejoice. That means something happened that caused the people to rejoice. It says for that they offered willingly. See a, a place, a city or a leader is only as strong as the people that's following them. It says for the offered willingly because with perfect heart or matured or developed heart they offered willingly to the Lord see when things are in right perspective when things are put in the right place like they are supposed to then great things can happen the people will have a rejoicing there will be a lot of laughter a lot of joy there will be prosperity there will be a going forth there will be breakthroughs coming out when things are in in right perspective like it's supposed to be. First Chronicles chapter 9 again, I'm going to tell it, I'm going to say it, listen, it says, then the people rejoice for that they offered willingly. Please make sure that you catch everything that the scripture is saying. It says they offered willingly. Who is they? The people, the people made a difference. So you can't complain about something that you're not making a difference in. The people, the people, they offered willingly because with perfect or matured or developed heart. They offered willingly to the Lord. Notice uh, the attention had to be to the Lord. God, I want to thank you this morning. The attention had to be to the Lord. It could not be to the man. It could not be to the woman that was running for position. The attention had to be unto the Lord. It has to be where a people cry out for the spirit of the Lord and then things will begin to happen unto until we become a people that will put God in his right place, we will always encounter things that would seemingly defeat us until we again become people that put the Lord in the center of focus where he is supposed to be. We will always be a people which seemingly be defeated. It was not designed for us to be defeated, but we will seemingly go through things of defeat because we don't have the focus where it needs to be. Things are not in its right perspective like it needs to be. The people rejoice here in First Chronicles 29 because they offered willingly. They were so proud of the fact of how their hearts, God, I wish the world would hear me today. They were so happy about the way their hearts were. They were so excited and ecstatic about the fact that they even had a heart to be together, to come together, to do things in unison. God, I thank you this morning. Lord, I pray that everybody that walks in a place, God, to vote, to, that their heart will be happy, Lord, that there will be a unison of coming together. It says they rejoice for they're offered a willingly. Nobody forced them. They offered a willingly. This is something I want to do. I want to be a part of making the world a better place. I want to be a part of making the city a better place. I want to be a part of making the community a better place. I want to be a part of it. It says because with perfect heart, uh, with a matured heart, a developed heart, we can't keep being ignorant, y'all. There is a scripture that says uh, until we become as one man, nah, oh God, until we find ourselves in a place of unity, uh, there is always going to be strife, contentions, and chaos. Uh, uh, can I say to you this morning, 
those of you uh, that are having problems, God help me please, uh, in relationships, in your marriages, can I say to you, until you become likened as unto one man, uh, until you return to the state of the vows, uh, till you get to the place of what it said, uh, that the two shall be as one, uh, there's always going to be uh, some strife, some contentions and dilemmas that will cause a separation and a division. It says the people, First Chronicles 29 and verse 9, the people rejoiced for they offered willingly. They were not forced to do it because with a perfect, a matured, a developed a loving heart, they offered willingly to the Lord. Our knees have got to bend. Our hearts have got to bow unto the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings in order for us to see a difference be made. You can think all you want that decisions concerning elections don't make a difference in your life. Well, the devil is a lie. It was so proven that it makes a difference when this pandemic hit and they began to talk about the stimulus packages. Did y'all see how many people, uh, they were so impacted by the $1,200, very impacted by it because they wanted it so they realized, okay, I even heard some people talking about how great their president was because uh, of what he rendered over to the people concerning this with the stimulus, uh, all these type things. So all of it makes a major difference. Decisions about what happens in your life, what happens in your community, what happens in your city, uh, even what happens in your house is impacted by things that officials, elections uh, bring about inside of the land. So it is very important important that we understand that our voice, our stroke of the pen, how we mark on the paper does make a difference. It says here again in 1 Chronicles 29 and 9, then the people rejoice for they offered willingly. I'm talking to the people right about now. I'm talking to the people this morning. I need to grab the people a collab with the people this morning. Not so much about the ones that's running, but I I need to talk to the people this morning. I need the people to understand that your voice is powerful. I need you to understand that your stroke of the pen is powerful. I need you uh, to know that what you do makes a difference. Uh, uh, can we talk for a second about the fact uh, that the people desired to have a king uh, and they wanted one so bad of who they wanted uh, and so they would choose a man of great stature, uh, a good looking man, one I would love to have. A nice big built man. Yeah. Uh huh. They would choose him by the name of Saul and bring him in to be their king uh, because they did not seek the counsel of the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And uh, they did not seek the counsel of uh, the great I am El Shaddai. Uh, they did not seek the counsel of uh, uh, the one that was able. Uh, uh, well, the Bible says uh, that he was well able as a man. Matter of fact, they did not seek the counsel of him, but they put themselves in a position as to where they wanted what they wanted. And when we get in a predicament as to where we make decisions based off of what we want and have not sought God, we will find ourselves in a place of trouble. Lord, help me. I'm praying this morning, been praying now for a while, that we would get to a place as to where we would desire what, oh God, in him wants to happen, that we would desire that, that El Shaddai wants to do, that we would desire to have that that the Lord of Lords desires to have, that we would seek 